Esfahan, the cultural heartbeat of central Iran. I'm here to meet global water expert Dr. Kaveh Madani. He's asked me to meet him along the Zayanda route, the river which gave birth to this ancient city. Hi, Dr. Madani. This is not at all what I was expecting. What happened to the famous life giver, the Zayanda route? Uh, for the past few years, we have been seeing it like this. A uh, few months of a flow every year, and the rest, this is what you get. It's officially a dead river. These massive cracks that we're seeing in this once flowing thousand year old river, this is a man made problem? Um, unfortunately, yes. I, I'm, not, I'm not saying that nature had no effect on this. Um, we have exhausted the water upstream, and this is what we are left with. What is the water upstream being used for? Uh, mostly agriculture. Um, nationally, we use more than 90% of the water in the ag sector. Um, that's common in, in, dry, in the dry areas of the world where you want to produce food. Um, wherever you irrigate, <laughs> you run out of water, and that's a general rule. This is really a symbol of what is happening at a larger scale, at a national scale in this country. And what is happening right now? Rivers and lakes are going dry after, one after another, losing wet, we're losing wetlands. Um, we are seeing land subsidence, we are seeing desertification and declining groundwater levels, which is really sad. We have been determined to maximize our water use, to extract water from any source possible, move water from one location to another, and this is what we see as the results. This is what I call water bankruptcy. Do you see that? The sprinkler? Yeah. What's wrong with that? That's a problem. This is the mentality. This I mean, is we the don't symbol. we don't get it. Like look look at this. Like all around the river beds are, are green and we have a river which is gone. What a view. I can imagine when this was full of water, people must have just exactly. loved it. Exactly. It's just so sad. So what would you say are the root causes of this crisis? How do we get to this place? I generally think there are three main um, causes. One being the rapid population growth. Um, in less than two decades, the population of Iran doubled. The second cause is inefficient agricultural sector. And it has been very important for us over the years of war with Iraq and after that during the sanctions. It was natural to be really worried about um, food self-sufficiency and food availability in this country. And the third cause being, you know, mismanagement. Uh, water is also linked to so many other things. And unless we understand and appreciate these linkages, this complexity, we cannot solve the problems. Yeah.